All right, guys, I think it's time to turn this into this. All right, guys, welcome back to another edition to How Do I Improve My Harbor Freight Lift? <laughs> it's too cold in the early morning. Okay, baby, thank you. I'm on. And... You know, guys, since I've produced that last video related to the things I've done on this Harbor Freight motorcycle lift, you know, I've come across several other ideas, many that have worked well and some that have been pretty crappy, actually. But today, here's something I want to do. Guys, something Harleys are notorious for as it relates to oil changes is removing and reinstalling the oil filter. And those of you who have Harleys, you know what I'm talking about. So let me just take the camera up off this stand here and show you a couple of things and why I want to alter my lift today. So something these bikes are notorious for is trying to get that oil filter on and off and then trying to catch any residual oil that's coming down here. Now, those of you who have a lift and a configuration like mine, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's inevitable that oil is gonna come out and fall through the cracks here when you've got a Harley, when you're changing that oil filter. There's just no clean way to get in here with your wrench and get that filter off quickly and then catch any oil that might be draining down. And with this lift and this chalk, it just exacerbates the problem. So you've all had the problem, right? I mean, you use all of these funky devices. I've even seen some folks take, and I've even tried it as well, as to cut this portion of a bottle of oil off and use, trim this out and use that as a, a funnel, as a catch, to get underneath the oil filter and try to get back to where that leak is gonna happen just as soon as you loosen that oil filter. Between this, between that, Ultimately, there is no easy way. You're going to have oil draining down through there. Ultimately, it's just going to take a bunch of paper towels and a bunch of this, right? We've all done it, okay? So, the key is how to give yourself as much clearance as possible. You know, you've got, you've got about five inches of clearance underneath the Harley-Davidson, right? Okay, so, between trying to get an oil filter wrench, I mean, even a notched out filter wrench that comes from Harley, it's just a pain in the rear end, right? There is no clean way to do this. Now that this chalk is mounted to this lift, there's absolutely no reason to have this much additional angle sticking out here. Now in other applications, yeah, that stability is terrific. But for our purposes on this lift, I think I need to remove a good portion of this and still have the bolt here, still have the structural integrity mounted to the lift and give me some clearance here so that I can catch oil and avoid all the mess that builds up underneath this frame. All right, so let's get to it. Take it over here to the bench and I'll start uh, laying out where I want to cut this thing. All right, so hopefully you can see that this portion of the chalk has staggered holes. And I've added one here already because I wanted to align it back here when I was using this in the back of my pickup. But I'm going to add one more hole here and then I'm going to trim this thing off you know, just to give myself a lot more clearance here.
Okay guys, so I've laid out about nine, nine and a quarter inches here. I'm gonna take off this frame. That's gonna give me quite a bit of extra room. I've already drilled an extra hole here and I've got room for one other, uh, for a little more adjustment. I don't take this off first. We'll clean this up, uh, touch it up with a little black paint. We'll mount it on the lift. I'm gonna buff this up, smooth it out a little bit with the grinder, maybe even round off these edges a little bit. And, all right guys, so I've uh, rounded off these edges. You know, this is gonna be, I'm gonna be working in and around this, like you say, changing oil, getting under the motor. So I've tried to round this off, smooth it out relatively well with my grinder here. And so I've got it pretty smooth. I'm gonna take and clean it up a little bit, get out of can of black spray paint, dress it back up, uh, let it dry down a little bit, and then we'll bolt it down to the lift. That's looking pretty good. All right, we'll let that dry out a little bit. All right, so let's get this lined up. We'll drill a couple of holes. Okay, so one of the things I have done that I've seen a lot of YouTubers, various bikers, is just, you know, putting a few washers on each side. I don't know that it makes a whole lot of difference, but, you know, every little bit helps. All right, so let's get this thing cleaned up. I'm sure this is going to give me a good six or eight inches of space here that I didn't have before. All right, so let's get the bumblebee up here. We'll see how much extra space we've got here when it comes to oil changes and getting that oil filter off without making a mess. You know, guys, I want to show you one more thing uh, that I've done. On this rotating portion of the chalk here, I've actually got it on backwards. Uh, you know, when it comes from the factory, you see this coped edge here is actually turned around 180 degrees. My front fender doesn't have a problem with it either way. But honestly, when it comes to pulling the bike off the lift, I would just assume have a little less of a moment. All right, so let's run the, you know, I got too much going in my garage to get the Black Pearl out here and up on the lifts. I'm gonna bring the Bumblebee up here. The Bumblebee and the Black Pearl have virtually the same wheelbase, so it'll still give me the best gauge of how much extra space I've got underneath the bike with this wheel chalk cut down. quite stable. Let's just bring it on up. I won't put the straps on it just yet. All right, so check that out. That's quite a bit more space. I don't have to sit there and fight with it when I'm pulling that oil filter off. I don't have to sit there and fight with this chalk with this steel being back here another eight or nine inches. I've got room to work. I should be able to drain my oil filter pretty easily without making too much of a mess. You know, guys, that's the cheapest, easiest fix I think I've made to that chalk, to be quite honest. Between all the silliness with washers and plywood and the like, but ultimately it's just too long. 
Now it's a great chalk. It works great with this lift. Bottom line is it needs to be shorter when you're taking and mounting on your Harbor Freight bike lift. Well, I'd call that a success. Okay guys, thanks for coming along on this Harbor Freight lift uh, wheel chalk retrofit. I hope this is helpful to you. Real easy conversion to that chalk. I'd recommend it without a doubt. You know, it's springtime, the weather's terrific. I'm gonna be getting out and doing some motor vlogging. Me and Roxy are gonna go do some riding. It's beautiful weather right now here in Utah. So y'all come get on the road and go with us. Let me make one more plea here. You know, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel. Uh, we appreciate any comments. If you've done something similar to this to your wheel chalk or your Harbor Freight lift, any improvements, please comment to it, ask questions. Uh, please share the video with some of your riding buddies if you think they'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching and y'all come get on the road and go with us because we're really getting out on the road next time.